Hi everybody, this is Dr. J and welcome to our Q&A session for, uh, it's September, it's fall, um, you know, uh, 2022 is, uh, you know, we've, we've been through three quarters of 2022 and we got another quarter left and, uh, you know, we had a great summer, very hot summer, uh, broke some uh, heat wave records uh, and now it's fall and I'll tell you something, fall is my favorite time of the year, right? It's not too hot, you know, you know, it's not it's snowing yet, you know, the leaves are, the colors, the fall colors are beautiful, the weather is just perfect. Um, I just love it. I don't know about you. So if you want to comment on the, of what's your favorite weather, just, you know, put a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys about, you know, what's your favorite time of the year. Now, coming back to our Q&A session, you know, as you're, as everybody's kind of getting ready for, you know, I was getting, I'm getting used to the new fall um, weather and, and kind of the children and families are getting, uh, adapting to the new school year, you know, and uh, we're all going to be preparing for Thanksgiving. Um, uh, you know, one thing that doesn't really, you know, preoccupy our minds, uh, our minds is our dental benefits, right? Like who's thinking about dental benefits at this time? Uh, but surprisingly, it is something that I wanted to, uh, most people don't think about. And uh, I wanted to remind you is, uh, you know, you have a certain amount of dental benefits every year, and it is the time of the year where I come in and remind you, hey, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So use it or lose it is the topic of this uh, Q&A session. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. Uh, why use it or lose it? Why would we wanna lose it? And how can we avoid from losing the benefits that, uh, how can we help you from losing your benefits that you get? Um, so let's dig in. So use it or lose it, what does it mean? Dental benefits has a certain amount of uh, funds that the dental insurance company gives you every year. And it's almost like a, a pot that can be applied towards whatever your dental needs are. Now, some people are able to utilize those funds um, within the calendar year that they've been provided those funds. Um, but if you have dental work that has been kind of on the pending list because you've been focused on so many other commitments for your children, for your spouse or loved ones, and you haven't been focused on taking care of yourself, um, then obviously you've got dental work that still needs to be done and you may have benefits that are still remaining for this calendar year. Now dental benefits unfortunately do not roll over, you know. So if they don't roll over, what does that mean? That means that at the end of this year, come December 31st, 2022, you know, in, within the next three months, if you are not going to use up those dental benefits that have been given to you, then all that money just goes away, right? And why would anybody want to lose all those funds? That's your funds, right? That's money that you've earned that you can use to keep your own oral health, your mouth healthy and take care of your smile and your, or your ability to chew and function and enjoy the foods you want to eat. So those dental benefits are a great, great asset that you have. It's a, it's a benefit. It's, it's a bunch of money that you have that you can use to improve your oral health. So if you don't use it, it doesn't roll over, you're going to lose that money. So give us a call today at Media Dental, Bootway Dental or Kanshak and Dental Arts. Um, and make that appointment so that we can review, find out what pending dental needs you have, get you scheduled ASAP so you can take advantage of your own benefits that you've been, you've been uh, provided to. So pick up the phone, make the call. Um, getting into um, uh, how to avoid losing. I'm gonna kind of get uh, lean in on that a little bit more here. Here are the top five reasons. You know, everything is like five simples. You, know, you can just count them off your hand. I figured you know five would be would be easy and, and uh, uh, easy way to go. So so the first reason why you want to take advantage of your insurance benefits, otherwise you lose them, is your insurance deductible. Now your insurance deductible is the amount of money that you as a patient pays to the dental office before your dental benefits or your dental insurance kicks in. Now your deductible is paid every year. So if you only visited the dentist once. You know, if you visited us once and you still have pen dental work and you've already paid your deductible, then you've paid your portion, but the insurance company has not chipped into the full amount in order to take care of your dental needs. So if you have pending dental needs, you have other visits that you need to schedule for, you've already paid your deductible for the year and you don't need to pay any more deductible, 
then you are completely lined up perfectly to come in and utilize the rest of the benefits that the insurance company gives you uh, at the same time while you're taking advantage of having paid your deductible. So don't use that deductible money because come next year, you're going to have to pay your deductible again in order to kind of activate the insurance benefits. So for this year, while we still have a few months left, this is the right time to pick up the phone and make that call so that we can schedule your appointment for you and take care of whatever pending dental needs you may have. Maybe you just need a, your second cleaning. Maybe you're having some discomfort or pain. Maybe something's broken or chipped. Or you just want to come in and get your checkup done and, and just get an uh, overall exam. Um, whatever it is, you've paid your deductible, pick up the phone, make the call. That way at least you're doing the right thing for yourself and taking advantage of your dental insurance to the max to help your own self. So that's reason number one why you should not lose it. In fact, you should use it, your dental benefits. The second reason why it's important to kind of pick up the phone and make the call again is fee increases. So as we're coming out of this two years of uh, pandemic um, uh, overages and everything else, as you know, things, uh, supply and demand, everything's gone crazy. Uh, prices are going through the roof every six months, especially for the last year, almost I would say every quarter, there's been price adjustments because of the supply and demand crisis that the world is going through, right? Um, there's a big disparity in terms of uh, what's available and what can be available and at what times it'll be available. Considering that, there have been some uh, adjustments to the pricing and it's only going to go up. So come 2023, what's going to happen is the same amount of work that you could have gotten this year, the price is going to increase. I can almost guarantee that because of the way the price changes are already being kind of transferred down to us. So if you have spending dental needs, if there's work that needs to be done, um, if you have dental care needs that you need to take care of for yourself or someone, your family, your spouse, your children, your loved ones, pick up the phone, make the call today because come 2023, the price is going to be higher. And then at the time we have that mindset, oh man, I wish I could have just gotten it done two months ago. I just didn't have the time, but you just make, pick up the phone, look at your schedule, make the time to take care of yourself. It's the right thing to do. Okay, so uh, the fee increases, uh, the price increases from the supply chains, all of that will affect you down the road. So let's try and avoid that by getting, it's never gonna be um, um, less expensive than what it is right now. So it's only gonna get more. So. That's another reason for you to pick up the call, make that appointment with us today. The third reason, reason number three, a flexible spending account. So uh, an FSA or a flex spending account is something that is set up by your employer. Um, there's a certain amount of money that's put into the FSA and that amount of money can be used for expenses this year. Very similar to your dental insurance benefits, the flex spending account does not sometimes roll over. Right? So if your FSA does not roll over, then again, if those funds are not utilized for your own health, for your own uh, dental health, oral health, then again, you're going to end up losing those benefits as well. So that's reason number three. Pick up the phone, make the call today, because if, you're not, if you've got money left in the insurance pot that you're going to lose, if you've got money left in the FSA pot that you may end up losing, another reason to make that appointment within the last three months of this year is to use up the FSA because combined between the FSA and the insurance, it may cover some additional out-of-pocket expenses you may have and hey, you know, that's a really smart decision that you just made by taking care of yourself and utilizing the insurance and the FSA monies in a very smart way. Reason number four is probably something that everybody's already familiar with because it happens every year. You know what I'm talking about, insurance premiums going up, right? Every year you pay a certain amount of money for your own dental health just like you pay money towards your um, medical insurance. Every year those premiums go up depending on what kind of insurance coverage you're getting. And usually it's decent coverage. Sometimes it's the same coverage as you had last year, you're just paying more for it. So if you've already paid your premium for this year for your dental insurance and the insurance gave you a certain pot of uh, allocation of money that could be used towards your dental health, towards your dental care, and uh, that means you've paid the insurance company for your dental health. You, they've already taken that you know, deposit from you and they've given you the benefits for this year. If you don't utilize it, that means that you're just paying your insurance company for nothing. Now, let's take advantage of the deposits 
that you've made with your insurance company for yourself. You made this uh, investment into your own health. You chose to get insurance for yourself to take care of your own dental health. It's only right for you to utilize and take advantage of the coverage that you have from the insurance company. Don't just pay your insurance company and let them keep your benefits as well. You've paid them. They've given you the benefit. Use those benefits. Pick up the phone, make the call. You know, our team uh, um, at Media Dental, Bootway Dental, and Kasha Hawken Dental is just standing by because we have very, very few appointments left for the year. There's people are just coming in because it was the end of the school year, and now, you know, the, the year is coming to an end. Everybody's trying to maximize, and I know we're going to get that crazy rush in the last month of the year in December when not only will it be Christmas time and there will be fewer appointments available, but everybody's going to try and get in to utilize their their dental insurance so this is the perfect time there's still you know three months left in the year give us a call we'd love to take care of you so that you're not caught up in the in the busy busy last month where you may not be able to get the treatment that you need and you may miss out and lose not only your insurance but your FSA uh, monies as well because the, since they didn't roll over as well so looking to hear from you pick up the phone make the call today make your dental appointment Reason number five is your plan maximum. Now, everybody has a different kind of dental plan and every dental plan has a different annual maximum. I've been in this uh, field for decades now and I, what I've noticed is some plans have a low max, some plans have a high max. Very rarely I see like a really unusual unlimited max. Um, but that's very, very few and far between. Very few people have that. So average person, I would say 90%, everybody has a set amount that they can use for the year. And if you haven't used that amount, that's a lot of coverage that you may be missing out on because, you know, whether it's a simple filling or you need a crown, you may need a dental implant or, or you know, um, plates or, or whatever it is you know you may just need a cleaning you may need, just need an oral checkup or an oral cancer screening whatever it is whatever your um, uh, recommended treatment is that you're kind of waiting on that you're looking to get done but you haven't been able to get done because of circumstances because the focus has been on other things you've been generous with your time with other people in your life but you just haven't taken that opportunity to be generous with your own self and spend that time and the energy and the money on your own health on your own oral health on your own smile because guess what you've seen that photo right where everybody you know has a group shot and then one person has an eyebrow missing or a single tooth missing you know nobody notices you know that half the hair is missing or green or black but everybody notices the tooth missing you know everybody notices the tooth missing because that's somebody whether you're you know social whether you're dating somebody whether you're meeting somebody for an interview um, whether you're just socializing with people, people look at everybody's smile. People look at your smile, people evaluate your smile. You know, that's something people notice right away. So having a beautiful smile is a, a very, very important social psychological benefit that you can have just by taking care of your smile. Come in, get the checkup, get the exam, and if there's work that you need to get done to help improve yourself, improve your smile, enhance your smile, you know, it is never too late. It is, you know, now is the right time to make the call. Not only that, besides the smile itself, being able to function, being able to go to a restaurant and eating what you like, being able to order from the menu and not have to worry about, hey, I can't chew this or I can't chew that. If you're one of those people that's always worried about, hey, I'm not gonna be able to eat this, or this is gonna be painful for me to eat, or this is difficult for me to chew, then this is the right time. You still have a few months left into the year. You may have there are healthcare benefits left in your insurance plan. You may have a maximum that's not been used. You may have an FSA that has money left in it. Whatever. We can help you utilize and maximize your dental insurance benefits, maximize your FSA benefits, and help you get that beautiful, comfortable, functional smile that you're able to eat and chew and, and socialize and go to picnics and just live your life and enjoy the foods that you want to uh, without worrying about it. So that was our... Um, Q&A session on our insurance and use it or lose it. So hopefully that was uh, uh, good information for you that you can utilize to make the right decision for yourself to take care of your oral health 
and pick up the phone and give us a call today. Our operators are standing by. Our number here is 610-565-0525. That's 610-565-0525. Um, you can visit us on the web at media.dental, bootway.dental, and kanshahakin.dental. Give us a call today. Our awesome operators here are just standing by to take your call, uh, make an appointment for you, or if you're looking to make an appointment for uh, uh, family or friends or any loved ones, we will take care of them, uh, awesome care of them for many, many years to come. So look forward to hearing from you. Look forward to seeing you in the office. Uh, so until I see you then, this is Dr. Jay signing off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the fall weather.